welcome back, you VBS passengers. Today is day three of VBS Rocky Railway. Can you believe it? It is day three. Woo! I'm super pumped. So much to learn, so much to do today, and I am psyched that you are here with me to sing and dance and celebrate God's power. It is day three, and some of you at home, I've already promised that I'm going to do some leg kicks. Virtual VBS cannot hold this back. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need a stage for those leg kicks. Whew. Okay. Out of breath from that. <laughs> Let's kick things off with today's theme song. It's not today's theme song. It's every day this week. The theme song for VBS Rocky Railway. Your power will pull us through. Everybody stand up. Let's review some of the moves. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. Notice we can go a little faster. This is day three. We've been practicing this. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. Let's sing. Let's dance together. Roll the tape. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. trusting in you. I love that song. It gets me amped up. Okay, back to trains. Did you know that trains can talk to each other? 
No, not that kind of talk, but they do communicate with each other. One example is they can make three short whistle sounds. And that means that there's a train backing up. Do, 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 boop. Well, let's see. I want to look around me and I want to see some God sightings. Hmm, yesterday we talked about hope. What gives you hope? What do you see around you that reminds you of God? Hmm, Cam told us yesterday about the light at the end of the tunnel. That's like hope. Or maybe there's a really bad storm. And then when it ends, there's a rainbow in the sky. Those God sightings are all around us. We need to be listening to them. We need to be looking for them. We can use all our senses to find them around us. Okay, back to these train whistles. Train whistles are big and bold because they are big, heavy pieces of machinery and we need to be safe and they need to communicate. And you know what? God wants us to communicate too. He wants us to be big and bold. Now, what does that mean? You know what? VBS passengers, I'm not going to lie. This isn't going to be easy all the time. Sometimes God wants us to stand up for what we believe, even when it's unpopular, even when it's going to make people look at us oddly. I have no problem with that. I'm used to people looking at me oddly. So if you want to talk about it, here I am. But anyway, let's get serious. Big and bold. We got to use that for good. Now, this reminds me of today's Bible point. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus' power with the power shuffle. You might remember this one from Monday. This, this dance is not in it, but you can free dance all you want. It starts up with stand up in three, two, one. Well done. I feel it in the air right now. I see it all. All around, I see it everywhere. And then show those muscles. It's the power. Yeah, 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 God's power. You're going to show your muscles a lot and listen and follow the directions. All right, let's get moving. Let's get grooving. Take tiny little jumps, four to the front. One, two, 
Ooh, that song is good. I love to dance. All right, so during Bible Adventure today, we are going to meet two new people from the Bible, Peter and John. They love Jesus. They have a heart for Jesus. They have just devoted their lives to him and following him. And they love him so much and they love what they know that they want to share it with other people. They want to just shout it out and teach those who don't know about Jesus. But you know what? At the end of the day, they're people just like you and I. They're humans. God wants us to do the same thing, and we can. And that can be kind of scary to be big and bold and proclaim our faith. It can be intimidating, but you know what? That's okay, because who's on our side? Jesus. You don't have to say it perfectly. You just need to know it, trust it, and just let it shine. Today's Bible point is... Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. And this reminds me of a Bible verse. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. So even though we might not feel really equipped that we can share our faith to others, he's on our side. He will give us the power to do it. He just wants us to be bold. Today's Bible memory buddy, her name is Sierra. Let's see what she has to tell us. Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like Pumas, Panthers, Catamounts, and Cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend, tell the truth, or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sierra is a a mountain lion. 
All right, so what about her reminds us to be bold? Well, we learned that she is a mountain lion, and sometimes she has to be real quiet and real sneaky. But other times, she has to pounce, and she has to be bold. What a great reminder. She helps us remember the important truth from the Bible, that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Bold. Trust Jesus. Let's sing a song to help us remember this power in the blood. It's literally a song called Power in the Blood. Everyone stand up. I'm going to show you some of the motions in the song. The first line is there is power, power. You're going to whip out those muscles. Bam, bam. And then for you people who know Taibo, yeah, go ahead, ask your folks at home, double time, double time. You're going to do a lot of that punching. Yes, okay, you ready? There is power, power, wonder work and power in the blood. You're going to show Jesus in sign language of, uh, of the lamb, like he's on the cross. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the lamb. Remember, really show those muscles, and Jesus helps Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's sing our song. message in that song. Let's see what Cam Track is up to today. Roll the video. I heard some great news this morning. Cam and his crew were able to fix the tracks. Now they'll be able to go down the mountain and deliver all those M&Ms. Did I hear my name? Did, did someone say my name? Are you cheering for me? Yes, we are. We heard that you fixed the tracks. Are you ready to deliver all those M&Ms? Oh, yeah. Can't wait. So excited. Yeah. Oh, look, a squirrel. Cam, are you hiding? Uh, if you see a train conductor, can you tell him that I went to, um, uh, ooh, water my lawn? Cam, I don't know why you're hiding, but if you could just come out. Tell us what's going on. We can probably help you. Ooh, you're right. Maybe I should wear a disguise. What do you think? Unless being disguised as a tree is what you're going for? I don't think so. Just tell us what's going on. Well, the conductor reminded me that before we get down the mountain, we have to go up and over a really steep one. And now he's trying to find me so we can get rolling, you know, 
full steam ahead. But I thought that's what you wanted to do, delivering the M&Ms and all. It is, it's just, I've never gone down such a steep mountain before. I've gone over little hills and on long plains and around crazy curvy bends and super tall bridges, but I'm really nervous about going up and then back down such a steep mountain. Hmm. Doing new things takes courage and boldness, but I'm glad that I don't have to do it alone. Jesus' power helps us be bold, and you don't have to use your own strength. You can be sure that the one strong enough to create the mountains is strong enough to help you get over them. That sounds nice, but I'm still nervous. Well, we have some new songs that can help your situation, and it's all about Jesus' power and helping us be bold. Oh, okay, that, that might actually help a lot. Uh, I'll stay here while you guys sing and remind me of the power of Jesus. Then I'll go find the train conductor and tell him I'm ready. Thanks, guys. We believe in you, Cam. What a great message. And what a great reminder, Cam, that life is going to have ups and downs. And sometimes it's going to be... Oh, joyful, happy, and sometimes it's going to be down, it's going to be low, but you know what? God is always there with us. He's helping us. Jesus's power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Let's review. This is day three. I'm going to need your help with this. Day one of VBS, we met Ramsey. Ramsey is a a big horned sheep. Yes. And if you think about Ramsey, he was custom made for the terrain of the mountains. And he reminds us that Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay. Day two. Day two of EBS, we met Ava. Ava is a red-tailed hawk. And what can she do? She can fly. When we picture her soaring through the sky, we can think about hope and how our hearts can be light. See, Ava <laughs> helps us remember that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. I told you I need your help here. Day three, today, we met Sierra. Sierra is a a mountain lion. Sometimes she has to be real sneaky and quiet. And sometimes she has to pounce and be bold. And Sierra helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. I hope you have mountains of fun today. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. <laughs>